in this video we are going to look into the functions which actually return the functions themselves so let us start with the script and I would like to have a function do process and it will be accepting two parameters and I would like to have another function display sum which is a nested function and I would like to say sum equals a plus b and similarly I would like to have another nested function and I'm going to call that one as display difference so this is going to be difference and I would like to have this one as minus so in that way I have two nested functions and now I can say display sum which means I'm calling the display sum right in here which essentially takes the control back here and executes this particular function and after that I would like to have something like this return display difference directly so the first thing I'm doing is execute display sum so which means it is going to be executed and after that I'm returning display sum so I if I do this this is going to execute this so which I don't want to all I would like to do is I don't want to execute the function but I would like to return the definition of display difference so whenever I don't use the parenthesis it actually gets this whole definition and returns it back but if you put in here in this way it executes the function immediately so I don't want to execute the function but just return the definition of this function back so now in order to execute that I would like to say something like this so which means I'm saying that do process so from here the control goes in here it is going to execute display sum and gives this and after that I'm saying display difference definition need to be returned back so which means this entire definition is going to be returned back into a variable called a so a essentially can be treated as a function expression which points to this particular function so all I can say right now is a so which means I'm trying to execute the definition available inside the a by just providing the parenthesis so let us see if this works and I have some and now you can see I have the difference too and it doesn't need to be a complete function which is available in this way I can also send it in the form of an anonymous function so which means I can remove this and I can say just return a function like this so this is going to be an anonymous function and I am saying that I am returning this entire definition back to a so even this is going to work so you don't necessarily need to have a particular function with a name in order to return it back so you can literally return any kind of anonymous function or existing functions as part of whatever the requirement is so I save it again and let us try this one out and now you can see even this one works Thank you.